Now here's our foam insulation in the uh, box. And what we did, we built this back wall, okay? And then in the corrugation, we put our styrofoam. And then in the midst, in the corners, we took spray sealant, the crack stuff, and put in there. Now, as that was up, we threw this paneling up here, this uh, three-quarter inch closed cell foam insulation, four by eight sheets. It's not quite eight feet, so you have to cut the end off. And it's not quite, it's a little more than 10 feet to the wall. So we couldn't just run a 10 foot board, so we had to splice in on it. And then what we did up here in the edges is we notched out for it to fit because, you know, three quarter inch thick plywood, you know, the, the board's not going to fit flush with it. The way we did this is we put this wall up, we set these boards back here on this back wall, and then we turn these sideways. So they're sitting down at an angle. And we, we put the spray foam in the corners, and then we put caulk and glue, you know, going this way on the, uh, you know, um, foam. And then we went up there and we slid it back, okay? This one was further this way, and this one was folded this way. And then we sort of bent the foam in a U and slid it back. Then we slid the next one back. When we got those two back, we turned these joists from sideways to flat, and that wedged them up in here, okay? And then we came in and put this last one in. Once the last one's in, we just put these up, and then they're holding, they're holding that up. So that works pretty good. And you can actually feel a noticeable difference in here with that on here. When I get the sides done, it's going to be much, much better. You're going to have to bend it up because I got to get Walk it that which, which way? Is that is it up? Yep. Is it up enough? Yeah. About 